basketball dude. Brad and Sticky. <laughs> he would start out, he's like, so Barack Obama's president, that's cool. Michelle Obama's hot. I bet you she licks his booty hole. <laughs> just like, what? How did you get back to that? How did he do that? She wondered if it was a dare. Be a master of language. I was talking to Rick about it. He was like, he's funnier this time than he was last time. I'm like, oh my god, I can't imagine like, last time. He was like, well, last time he pretended the microphone was some girl's booty hole and then kissed on it and licked it for five minutes. Oh, so well, a professional like, microphone licker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, so the guy who licked the microphone uh, at Fallout, oh, yeah. uh, he got married at uh, Rocky Horror last night. Not surprised. Yeah. Yeah. That dude was a fucking whack job. Yeah. I guess it next, uh, Kate, Kate Moss is next. Does she get married next week? Oh my god. Uh, if she is, then Jesse Jarvis is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just his head in the jar right. Mark Lover. So we have Jason Klingman. Be interrupted to try to wash my hands because I touched the decon bait. Just try to stir your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's clean it up. Uh, <laughs> it was in Style Weekly, actually. It's yeah, yeah. That we childproof the house for Mike's girlfriend and pick up all the, the mouse traps. I did not know we had to do that for Chris Martin as well. <laughs> Apparently this house is infested with rats, and we're not talking about comedians either. Oh. So... Um, However, Ed Stone is a fantastic realtor, and anybody that's lucky enough to rent from him. We haven't mentioned the address of the house, so we're not... 1204 not... South Bainbridge. It's just Bainbridge Street. Oh. It's a wonderful house. Ed Stone's a fantastic guy. He took care of our mouse problem that we had very briefly because one of my roommates is extraordinarily dirty. He lives in Manchester. <laughs> just north of Southside. <laughs> Did he lick the booty hole? Yes, he loves to lick the booty hole. The Ed Stone or the... No, Ed... The rat. Everybody Ed is point. a fantastic landlord, and there has never been a single time that we have called him for something and it wasn't fixed within an hour. It's like Mr. Roper. However, my roommate that is not Mike Newsom does love to lick the booty hole and Most leaves all his dirty dishes really in the sink, thus table. giving us mice problems. Okay. Or mouse problems. Yeah. Jason Klingman. What? Jason, Jason, you do a radio show? <laughs> yes. I you HAP, which yes. is uh, 1340 on your dial. Yes, I don't think it reaches right out here to beautiful Manchester, but you can definitely get it online at 1340WHAP.com. It's uh, Thursday nights at 9, which is why I can't go to Kazi's, but I would love to go to Kazi's. And uh, yeah, we just talk about, we joke on celebrities, talk about shows upcoming and past, have comedians call in and promote shows. Um, I've had James Park on, Kenny Wingle, Paul Bass, and Jeff Kern. And I'm trying to get like a comedian a week, but it's tough because it's kind of, you know, 30 miles south of here. But, man, it's night everybody goes to Cosby's, so. But it's fun, man. It's definitely, definitely fun. You, you, you don't get laid doing radio either, I found that out. Have you ever thought about doing a live uh, show from Cosby's? I have not, but we do have the technology to do remotes, I believe, so I might kick that around. It's not the most sophisticated technology, but we've done it. Well, we're not the most sophisticated I heard, I heard some pretty good podcast taped off Evidence of Skype, the past believe it or not. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Well, we record every show. Uh, Adam Kliegenstein, who's the photographer to the stars, uh, he uh, he's my co-host, and he... Yeah. Um, none of that. <laughs> Just um, but yeah, we have it all recorded. We're gonna try to put it on the podcast, and I have a website under works. And now that I'm jobless, I'm sure I can put more time into it. You are jobless, kind of, sort of, yeah. uh, except for hand jobs at Valeros. And you know, I think giving it would hand be, jobs also does not get you. It's still a job. <laughs> yeah, it's a hand job. I think it would be uh, interesting to discuss how you lost your job. Um, Sacrificed on the altar of Andy Dick's career. <laughs> well, I, I missed I missed a day of work because I was in a wedding and I kind of had to be at it. And uh, then, as you said, I was uh, I got home about eight thirty in the morning uh, one night because I was uh, hanging out with uh, Andy Dick and his son Lucas. who are very very cool people. Um, Lucas gave you his number and said, "Call if you yeah, we, yeah yeah 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, I did not get fondled by Andy Dick, unlike Mr. Pauly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at one point in time, he tried to get out of my car while we were driving. Um, <laughs> we had to. I believe my Facebook post uh, was uh, every every place we left. It was like raining in a bi curious horse and putting him at the starting gates of the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> More beautiful words than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Most horses are quite curious. But. Yeah. In your experience? In my experience, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was one of those crazy nights, man. It uh, never happened again, you know? One of those. Something things. to tell your grandchildren. Yeah. I'd like to point out, I've never heard any dick mention looking booty hole. I think I saw it. It would have come up sooner or later. I can't believe that uh, I was chaperoning Andy Dick was not a valid excuse for missing work. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a yeah. Showtime movie right there. Sounds like a worker's <laughs> comp claim. It was more like a Lady Bug <laughs> movie. Well, I'm suspended right now, but they said I might be able to come back. But, Great. Yeah, just doing comedy for free thing is really paying the bills, though. So. I think that's Joe Hafley's <laughs> line, too. It is. <laughs> uh, so, also, shout out to Adam, who is celebrated his birthday yesterday. Right? Yeah, he's, uh, right? he's, he's 18. He's legal. <laughs> so we can look his booty. Photography yes. by Adam.com. Yes. And I'd like to point out that Adam has an enormous lens on his camera. Ginormous. Which, which is not compensation for any possible deficiency. No, that's why he has a sports car. Any other <laughs> 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 He's a little young to be having a midlife crisis, isn't he? Uh, okay, but and, and Adam is, is, is great people and shoots a lot of comedy shows in Central Virginia, and uh, you can put, you, know, he's, you, you can say more good things about him. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a great guy, man. Um, we actually did a radio show together like three years ago, and, and he was like the... the uh, Is this Frickin' Frack? Yeah, Frickin' Frack show. He was like the PR guy, and I was just the, the comedy guy before I even started doing stand-up, and that show kind of faded, and then I got my own show and, and brought him in, and um, so that's fun, man. He's, and he's sort of the guy. Tech, tech guy, right? Yeah, because yeah, I, I can't do it. All I can do is check Facebook and porn on the internet. <laughs> I cannot do really. Is there a difference? I can't really send emails. Um, you should get plenty of job offers. So yeah, you know what I mean. They're gonna come. I'm highly out. skilled. Okay. You make a hell of a long I don't know. <laughs> so we've already discussed somewhat uh, ideas for future podcasts. Does anybody have anything they want to throw into the pot? Promotion, that was the one that you... Yeah, uh, how to promote yourself, uh, technology, and how to promote yourself. Is this Filming something yourself. that's just floating out there, or do you feel like a confident enough to go with this next week? Or? We can do it next week. Okay. Talk about Because otherwise it's going to be booty hole again. <laughs> The impact that the internet has had on stand-up comedy. Yeah. yeah. So using social media to promote your... Uh, Not only through promotion, but the, the yeah. whole thing about you know, yeah. how to act. You know, once something's up on, on YouTube, you know, it's the constant turnover of material. I thought free speech was a good topic. It sure is. Yeah, I, I know, I know uh, the assistant director of the ACLU, so... Maybe sometime I'll get her to come down and... He knows all, yeah, he, he, it doesn't surprise me who he knows. No. Blue in the CIA. I am, probably, I am probably the only person on the planet who has shaken hands with the Reverend Jerry Falwell and Andy Dick. That's probably not true. <laughs> Falwell gets around. Something tells me they shook hands with Henry, too. <laughs> or might not be whole. Yeah. Incidentally, you can't libel dead people in the in the United States. It's impossible. Really? Yeah, you cannot libel a dead person. Oh my God! Well, then that makes things a lot easier for the next podcast. <laughs> okay. Uh, does anybody have any projects other than the Candy Valley uh, Cake Company or um, uh, anything else that they want to promote? Uh, do you, uh, are you doing a show down in uh, um, OBX or something? Uh, yes, the 22nd. I just filmed out last night the, the lineup for it. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. So. Does it mean Tracy Morgan will be there? No, there won't be any Tracy Morgan. And uh, 
I would say with that, the chances of hearing jokes about like a booty hole drops about 98%. Is Ray going to be there? No. What's the lineup? What's the show? Uh, it is... Let me think here. It is uh, Sebastian Pinado, uh, a comic down in Virginia Beach, is putting it together. Um, the lineup is going to be him emceeing, uh, myself, Tim Lou Lee's The Big Fofo. -fo. Big Fofo. I can't, uh, Jay Gates is headlining it, and I cannot remember. Jay Gates is from Tidewater. From yeah, he's from the Tidewater, Virginia Beach area. And, he was the um, MC at the last uh, Kazi's uh, yeah. over mic. Yeah, um, and I cannot remember the other people that are on it. I know I'm forgetting somebody that I, that I know, but I can't remember who. Where, so, where, where? Uh, it is going to be in the Outer Banks at some bar. I have mm -hmm. no clue. Beyond just that, stumble around. I've been there. Pretty much, I just get a, I get an address, plug into the GPS, and then I hit the road. You have a GPS. Oh yes. All right. Would you say a GPS is an essential tool for a traveling comedian? Uh, it is if you're fucking horrible with directions and borderline retarded when you drive, like I am. Well, you're not borderline retarded. Shout out it's to the Special Olympics. <laughs> Freedom of speech. And Ethel Kennedy. She's dead, we can say that. Speaking of retarded, Most you know what else is retarded is the deliciousness of extreme pizza. <laughs> you can use GPS to find extreme pizza <laughs> all over the map. Put, your, put extreme pizza in your GPS. <laughs> Don't actually put the extreme pizza in your GPS. <laughs> That'll just mess it up. I'm going to get more extreme GPS. So, uh, does anybody have any other shows, projects that they want to promote? I'm... Um, I don't even know if I'm doing this show. Apparently, I think it's tomorrow in Newport News at a restaurant called Schooners. I haven't heard anything, but apparently I was booked for it. So mm -hmm. I am, think I'm guest for co-featuring. I don't know. I haven't heard back. But hopefully, if you're in the Newport News area, this goes up before tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Tentatively. Funny Bone will be doing its, uh, its postponed uh, Richmond's Funniest College Student Competition coming up soon. Details to follow. Do you have to be in college? I mean, that's that's going to be, that's that's gonna be semi-important to be in college. All right. Isn't school out? It is. That's why I said details are <laughs> quick. I was just told the other night that we'll be, uh, we're going to pick that project up again. I might take a night class just so I can get in. That's incentive. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Throw your hands in the air like you don't care. Oh, and also Wednesday, August the 4th, is uh, the Clash of the Champions, which will be the best of the best of the last six months of the Clash of the Comics, competing for a week of paid work. So. And who's competing in that? Competing in that will be Jason Klingman, Grant Tatum, Roy Rogers... Jared Cullum, Jeff Curran, Jeff Curran, Trenton Pointer. Trenton Pointer, Mike Seville, Lissa P, Patrick McCarthy, Jaya Toller. Jaya Toller. How many have I said? It's twelve total. That's impressive. Spouse on? In fact, you were able to remember all those names. I, hey. <laughs> I had help from Jason, but they're all written hey, on the computer. Podcast. I have Ray Bullock on phone. No, you're fine. Do you? Put him on speaker. Uh... Is he at Kroger? Wait. <laughs> I was going to put him on speaker. He hung up. Oh. We almost had Ray Bullock. Sorry. You almost had Ray Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, no. Everybody make your jokes in your head. <laughs> it's not safe up there. Okay. How many is involved booty hole? So... Uh, <laughs> Reception City, California. So does anybody else have any shows or projects or things that they want to promote? Okay. I'm right. taking a grow out tomorrow night. Hopefully, I'll be doing some filming. <laughs> oh. okay. I hope it's a girl. I'm not sure. Oh. So, where are you from? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Take what you know about what, looking pretty. What, what, what's the uh, What's the Earl for your uh, for your for all your video show for your Music and comedy. Nowspot.com. Nowspot. What what happened to Free Silver at Vimeo? Oh, it just forwards to that. 
Okay. So that that's like uh, you it's got a block. Ma it's a mask that forwards to Vimeo. It's not even a mask. It just is a balance. Okay. It's like just straight straight forward. Okay. Um, and I'm I'm impressed with how you've been able to keep up with the blistering pace of. Uh, <laughs> Of everything, I mean, I don't know how you're doing it, but uh, this guy's awesome. It's like um, a little behind. Well, yeah, but not very much. Yeah. What? Maybe about a week, something like that. Yeah. And you're putting out. Um, uh, of course, you, you have an extensive uh, schedule of music shows, but then also you're doing Cafe Diem on a regular basis. Um, you went down to Kazi's. Uh, I've seen your bottoms up. Bottoms up, 9.55. Uh, and you've been doing the smoking hot stuff. Anything else that we're missing? No, that's okay. everything. Okay, and just for those people who are curious, you're shooting this on a Sony... Sony HD camera? What? It's called a... AVCHD? I don't know what that is. But. Uh, I think that's high definition. It means awesome combination of letters. And you're using a Sony tripod, which is like electronically hooked into it, so you can yeah, have a remote. Of, and uh, it's it's a oil filled head. Should be. You don't. You don't use a. You're not using a, a mic off a camera. You're just using the built-in mic. Mm -hmm. Making secondary recording too. Okay. And you're editing this in Final Cut Pro. No. Stop I'm killing the guy, Chris. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> to Get up in his Aztec grill. <laughs> uh, if you're not editing in Final Cut Pro, no, I'm still but using iMovie on a Mac. Mm -hmm. What kind of which uh, which Mac? Mm, I don't know. I got it January last year. Okay, is, is it a laptop or uh, no? It's a desktop. It's an iMac. It's all in the screen. All in yeah. one. All in one. Okay. What kind of pen you using, Chris? Uh, <laughs> It is a paper mate Wright Brothers medium point. All right. Black. Just curious. Okay. So, this has been Crackajokia, or Crackajoka, depending on how you feel about it. East of Java, erupting for the fifth time, not at the Lamplighter Cafe and Roasting Company in Richmond, Virginia, because somebody was using a power washer. This is Sunday, July 11th, 2010. Your host has been Chris Martin. Participating in the discussion has been Andrew Pauly. David Wingfield. <laughs> David C. Wingfield. David C. Wingfield. You. Bear Wingfield. I'm still Josh Saucia. Jason Klingman, I think. Uh, Jesse Thomas, Extreme Pizza and Paper Moon Strip Clubs. Uh, ba, 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 ba. This has been not safe for work. Not uh, if you listen to it so far, it's t too late. And the reviews are in. Andrew Pauly calls Krakajokia entertaining. Chris Martin says life-changing insights into the comedy industry. And Roger Ebert says more fun than getting cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Which, as we already determined, as soon as the heat abates. Uh, Jim Effen Zarlin of Charlottesville, a man who has his finger in more pies than Kirstie Alley, will appear in a sp special Saturday edition of Krakajokia. You want to do a spit take here? How to make a comedy scene. And we'll also have our exhaustive coverage of Last Comic Standing. Come to see all these stand up comedians. Come see all these stand up comedians before they get famous. This has been sponsored by RVAStandup.com, LaughHut.com, Salty Tongue Records, The Swan Like, Yacht Club, Extreme Pizza, and The Paper Moon. Paper Moon Strip Clubs. Thanks as always to Silver Persinger, the Ken Burns of Richmond Comedy and Music for videotaping these sessions. Yep, yep. As always, our user-friendly Facebook group Earl is HTTP. Is that an apostrophe? Yeah. yeah. No, it's a colon, colon, slash, colon slash, slash, slash slash groups dot two slash jokes. Good night, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all the ships at sea. Mm -hmm.